I'm going to give you some amazing voice editing tips. If you're just getting started with Audacity, it's a great voice recorder, manipulator, and you can go further than that. You can do things like add music, mix in stuff, and even add effects. So let's get started. And the very first thing I'm going to remind you to do once you've opened Audacity is go to the audio setup and just make sure you've got your playback device selected as the sound card or the audio interface you're using to listen to the audio from Audacity. And with the recording device, likewise, make sure it's your audio interface, USB microphone or if you just are starting from the basics, your internal microphone, that's absolutely fine. So once that's set up, you can record easily. And the way you do it is you just go for the record button up in the top left, or you can hit the R button on your keyboard. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and I'm going to give you some epic audacity voice editing tips. When we finish, we can either hit the space bar or the stop button up here. Let's play back by just hitting the play button here or space bar. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and I'm going to give you some epic audacity voice editing tips. Okay, sounds perfect to me, but I think it's missing something. Let's add some music in and mix it on another track. This is absolutely possible, and one of the easier ways is to go to the File menu, and we'll look for the Import option, we'll look for Audio, and sitting right there is a music bed from the Music Radio Creative Production Library. It's called Feeling Good Today. Let's listen to the mix. It's automatically mixed it onto a new track, so we should be able to just hit the Play button or Space Bar and listen to what we got so far. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and I'm going to give you some epic Audacity voice editing tips. Now, you know what? That's not bad, but the music is overpowering the voice, so let's just quieten it down a little bit, either by using the envelope tool up here or hitting F2 to switch, and then I am able to place on a few points here and potentially one here at the end, and then I can place on another one here and fade that music right down, and again, fade that music right down so that now when I play back... Hello, this is Mike Russell, and I'm going to give you some epic Audacity voice editing tips. You heard the music turn down and fade back up when I finish speaking. I'm going to undo that. Uh, now I can do this by going to the edit menu, undo, envelope, that was my last action, or hit the command or control Z button, and then we'll get back to where we were. We can go back to this tool, which is the standard selection tool, and we're back to the mix. And I want to do that all on automation. I, want to, I don't want to mess about with envelopes. I want Audacity to do it for me. So this is how you do it. First of all, uh, because I'm a little bit OCD, I'm going to name the top track and I'm going to call it Mike Voice. And then I'm going to click that Mike Voice title and I'm going to move that track to the bottom. Now this is important. You need your music on the top and your voice on the bottom for auto ducking to work. For auto ducking to work, all I need to do now is select all of the music. I double click there and then I can go into the effect menu. I can go to volume and compression and I can look for auto duck. Now it gives me a nice preset that I actually think is pretty cool. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. And what it's done is it looks at the voice track and it look at any other track that's going on down here and duck your music accordingly as to what's happening in the tracks below it. Let's play and have a listen. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and I'm going to give you some epic Audacity voice editing tips. Wow, and I actually think it did the auto-ducking a little bit better than me, so it goes to show that Audacity really does have some pretty neat effects for voice editing. Uh, now, talking about voice editing, I've got a little bit of silence at the start of my recording and the end, and I can kind of get rid of that in a few ways. Firstly, I can click here, and then right-click and split the clip there, and I can do the same at the end, and I can right-click and split the clip, and then just delete those sort of silenty bits that I don't need, so I just select that little bit there, and I'm just going to hit the sorry I'm going to select it by double clicking on it first uh, like so but this is so tiny this clip so so tiny this one's a bit bigger I can double click that one I can delete that one uh, for this one I'd actually need to zoom in using my zoom tool just a little bit and then I can double click and delete that as well so that's hunky dory that's fine but I'm going to command Z to get everything back to the way it was and show you a quicker way and the quicker way is to select just the audio you want to keep that's the audio there and use this tool up here it's called the trim audio outside selection or command or control T boom there you go and now 
if I want to, I can also move this around in time simply by just moving. Now, unfortunately, the auto duck will not move with the audio. You have to rerun the effect. So do bear that in mind. But that's pretty much how you do most of those basic things. Um, I'm actually going to put that back, that audio. And I'm actually going to mute out my music and I'm just going to play the audio here again from the start. Let's have a listen. Hello, this is Mike Russell and I'm going to give you some epic Audacity voice editing tips. Now, obviously, my studio is really quiet and there's not much background noise there. But what if there is background noise you want to remove? You can actually easily see in Audacity if there is background noise by going into this menu. And instead of just working in waveform, you've got spectrogram, uh, which completely changed the look of your audio. And you're like, what on earth is that? It's a representation of frequencies going on in your audio. Um, if we want to see a bit of both, we can actually just go to the multi view and that will give us a lovely waveform at the bottom and a lovely spectrogram at the top. Spectrograms are great because they'll show you background noise when you're not speaking. So when I'm not speaking, this area here should be black and so should the end bit. But it's not. There is a little bit of hiss, maybe maybe a, a little Mac fan going off in the background. Maybe it's my audio interface whirring up or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but I want to remove that audio. So Audacity has an easy way. Select just the noise you want to remove. You can do it in spectrogram or waveform view. It really doesn't matter. You can go into effect. Then you've got noise removal and repair. You've got loads of options here. Noise reduction is the great one really here. So now I've selected the noise I want to get rid of. I get the noise profile. That's done. Now I select everything. Go back into that effect, noise removal and repair. I look for noise reduction right there. And then I simply run it with the base settings. Let's see what the base settings do. And boom, look at that. Look at how much cleaner now my spectrogram has become since I ran that noise reduction. Now, obviously, on a studio quality recording, you generally wouldn't need to or want to do that. And there are more efficient ways to remove noise when you're working with studio quality recordings that I show you in other videos. So make sure to go and watch my videos on noise gates. They'll be on your screen somewhere. And uh, yeah, learn about noise gate because it's really good. But let's listen to how it's changed the sound of the audio, if at all. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and I'm going to give you some epic audacity voice editing tips. So noise reduction or removal in this case has really done a good job. And I'm going to zoom right in and uh, maybe just show you so that you can really see what exactly is happening here. Uh, let's zoom out. Let's move my cursor right back to the start here. Hello. That's where I'm working from, just around here, just around the start area here. Let's take a, a really good look at the spectrogram there. And I'm going to hit Command Z on my keyboard just to undo and look at all the noise that was reintroduced. So noise removal in Audacity is pretty good. It's worth using. In this video, you've learned a number of things. You have learned how to record, how to mix in music, how to auto duck, how to split, how to trim, and also how to remove a little bit of background noise or a lot of background noise if that's that's what you're working with. What are you suffering in Audacity? What is it you want to know more about? Let me know right now in the comments down below.